Hello, everybody. This map, the relationship status identification map, is quite unique in being able to um, distinguish who people are to you by using a, probably not a, a well-known method, but a pendulum. And the pendulum can get, come in touch with some unconscious truth. It's, it has a movement of its own. And when you learn to trust it, it points things out that are very hard to point out by themselves. And so here we have a map where we're looking at a way of assessing who people are ahead of time or while you know them or from a distance. And you can imagine that person. And then you can say, who are they to me? What is the highest ideal versus who are they to me right now? So those are two very important distinctions of who they, who the relationship is at right now, and then what is its highest potential? Because then you kind of know where it can go. Now, I'm going to sneeze. Now, this map creates some distinctions up here that I think at some point will prove to be very controversial because they are bringing to attention a way of seeing our society differently than the mainstream media portrays or differently than, than most people portray it. But a lot of people go by this in terms of seeing the differences between the spiritual masters, the ones at the top, they're beyond all of us in terms of their, uh, their spiritual presence and gifts and connections to higher powers. And then over here we have, you know, the, the dark lords who seem to be playing with the species and leading us uh, to oblivion and uh, all the greed and, and uh, despicable things happening on the planet being sourced from, from that. And then you have uh, mind controlled zombies and just asleep. And then you have awakening beings and then you have awakened beings. And then you have spiritual master. So it's, it's giving some distinctions in terms of uh, uh, how awake people are on the path to their own divinity and um, where, where are people at within their consciousness level. And that's a huge piece of the puzzle that is rarely brought into the conversation. You know, if anything, it's, it's laughed at or dissed, dismissed. Okay, so now we have, why do I have such a hard time with this? Okay, I'll go down there. Okay, and we have here, we have, this is the basic relationships of, of any type of business system. Because you have members, allies, and customers, if you're looking at your friends and your foes, our competitors, opponents, and enemies. And so most people, they don't want to deal with the foe side and for good reason. And um, your members are those people that are inside your system. Your customers are those that you're directly serving and have some sort of transaction with. And allies is everyone in between because uh, there's so many different ways that people can be helping each other out in business. And then over on this other side, we have the depth of your emotional connection uh, people you like, people you love, people you adore versus people you have no interest in, uh, people who bother you and people who can't stand their presence. And so the last one is the relationship fields where you have family, business, friendship, intimate service and social. And so each one of those is a meta conversation. Each one of those is a distinct different fields. So now what you do is you choose one from each. So I might say that uh, you are a dark lord and you are my en enemy and uh, I can't stand your presence and that's up in the social field. Up in the social field. I have these things difficult. So, or you could be a spiritual master and you're an ally 
and I adore you and uh, in the business realm. Or uh, you could be an awakened being and you're a member, you're a member. Uh, I love you and it's in a service field. Right, you get, get it? So each one of those creates a tetrahedron. Each one of those creates a shape that's a four-sided shape that you can't see. And it defines the relationship. It defines the pieces of the puzzle of going, you're a spiritual master, ally, that I have a strong love and connection with and we're doing business together. That creates this focused thought form of interpreting the communication necessary or allowed or parameters around with a given relationship. Now, if you can see that you're about to see someone and you can use your pendulum and you can go discover who you think they are ahead of time. And then what is your highest potential? It's a unique way of uh, assessing people. And I think that humans have the greatest value to get from one another. And if we see each other in a very high light, if we know you know, there's a great potential in terms of what the relationship is. We'll put time in, we'll put effort in. And that to me is where the richest gold on this world is, is the love that we share with the people that we interact with. And what degree of value do you share with one another? What kind of values do you share in one another? You know, there's a lot of social interaction, you know, with zombies that are kind of like competitors and people, let's say, just have no interest in. And depending on how much of your mind, how much of your time is influenced by those people. Because, you know, everyone I think who is on a higher path wants to use their time well with loved ones working on things that have meaning for you. And in order to build that, you have to nurture the people around you. You have to share in a different way than is normally done when there's just money at the bottom of it, or even to a lower extent with violence and, and a lot of force is used. Because as soon as you go into those realms, you're in the old paradigm and you're, you're these days, it's, it's not going to go well. I think there's a huge separation occurring because these dark Lords are activating these zombies and these people that are asleep to, to agree to a tighter matrix. And if we don't protect ourselves, if we don't do something about it. We're toast. We really are because they've got the momentum and they understand the larger group magic and they're, they're futurizing us with this media into a violent government controlled 5G chip in your head, everyone having to go along with what the government's saying or else they'll get their money supply cut off due to the money currency being linked into your chip in your head after, after you get vaccinated. Do you want that? And the storyline, the narratives aren't coming up with the true, let's say, battle for humanity. And if we don't do something about it, Again, we're, we're not utilizing the power of all the conscious, aware, good human beings on the planet right now that have enough information now to see that we're dealing with some sort of parasitic, you know, multi-generational 
dark force group of people that hide that want the attention away from them because they're the ones behind the false flags they're the ones behind the wars they're the ones behind the heart the larger control mechanisms and then they and they want to get this done because if the rest of the world really found out what what, what had happened and is going on you know they'll be run out of the planet but they're they're always distracting us with the divide and conquer mechanisms and them controlling the normal media and so they're presenting this worldview that never takes into account their shenanigans and i feel that as a result of designing this system and coming up with a defense plan that you have to bring attention to these matters to understand the enemy to understand like if you're dealing with enemies, they want to intentionally harm you. And if you don't think that enemy exists, you're toast. And so if you can make your enemy believe that you don't exist, if you can make your enemy believe things that aren't true, it's all part of the psychological campaign to win the war in whatever manner is taking place. And that's what's going on. We're in a war. And it's the good people of the planet versus the nutballs. And if you see like most of the, you know, so many of the uh, demographics of people, they're, they're just asleep. No idea about any of this. So this is a tool that you can use to start to get a little bit more discernment in relationship to who you want to deal with, who you are dealing with, and who to surround yourself in your network. And uh, the more loving allies that you can get, uh, that, that you uh, are having great times with, you know, the better. And so this is just a, a nice little gift from Captain Sweep to whoever sees this. And I hope this improves your life. And I hope that this brings you what you want. And you deserve it. All right. Have a great day. Much love.